Hey guys, how's it going? We are gonna do another unboxing video because it seems like we just keep getting boxes in the mail. I don't know, it must be the season. I have 11 to unbox tonight and it feels like we just did one of these. The fun thing about tonight is I have absolutely no idea what's in any of these boxes. So I'm gonna start with this one right here. This is actually um, from Burby's Best and they sent me something in our last unboxing. So I'm excited to see what's in this one. Delivery number one of your year of bloom. Save the decorative pot to be refilled three more times. Ooh. So we've got a really cute metal container with kind of a gray wicker on the outside. And then on the inside, it has a, just a pot that's already planted with calla lilies. And this one is called Crystal Clear. It's a white calla, which I will love. Um, and so apparently based on what it said on the outside of the box, this is like shipment number one of four. So it said to save this container uh, because there'll be three more things coming. That's exciting. Thank you, Burby's Best, for sending this. I really enjoyed the tulips you sent over last time. They bloomed yellow. They bloomed beautifully on my kitchen, on my kitchen windowsill. I'm not really sure which one to do next. Maybe this one here. Oh my, this has got multiple things in it. Oh, this is a Gilmore sprinkler. 43 foot spray distance. Okay, so I don't know if I'm understanding this correctly from the box, but it says that there's a 12 point adjustable spray distance and it's showing the coverage being really like you can do an awkward shape if you need to, if your yard is like weirdly shaped. And then there's also, it gives you a link to a how-to video. I'm gonna have to check that out. Gilmore Super Duty 50 foot, 5 8 inch hose. 5 8 inch hose is my my preferred size of hose is that weird I have a preferred size I really like it I actually bought one today I'll have to take it back <laughs> and there's two of them and you guys I prefer muted colors like I like green brown gray and black for hoses I don't want them to stick out in my garden so this is perfect and a Gilmore heavy-duty all-in-one thumb control hose and sprayer very cool and there's it's adjustable there's like different Shrub, shrub, clean, soft wash, jet, flower, sweep, garden. Cool. So obviously this box was from Gilmore. So thank you so much for sending this stuff over. Hey mom, can I call you back? We're filming a video. Oh, okay, honey, don't worry about it then. Okay, I'll call you back. Bye. Bye. The swamp. Oh. So it looks like this box is from Fiskars. And so Fiskars and Gilmore are two separate companies that operate under the same roof. So it looks like I have a mixture of both Gilmore and Fiskars stuff. I immediately got excited when I opened this box because yes, this is one of my go-to garden tools right here. And this one has a hard bottom which is awesome. How big is this? This is a big one, 30 gallon. So this is one of the big ones, which is great because you can put so much in these things. And then they fold down really tiny for storage. Also an assortment of clippers and pruners, which I have not tried before. So I'm excited. This looks like it cuts three quarter inch. Uh, and then these ones are for flowers, plants, and herbs, which are also very, very helpful. I love to do flower arrangements. So it's always nice to have a few pair of these around the house. Also a cultivator or like a garden fork and a trowel. Very nice. Thank you so much, Fiskars. Love this stuff. Whoa. This is an all steel D-handled digging shovel. This thing is intense. World's best shovel. It's got really nice tread. I love it when shovels have a big tread on them instead of, you know, like the little thin. So I can get my foot on there and I'm not afraid of it like um, slipping off. And this is nice. Erin and I just bought a new shovel too. Cuts three times easier. These are a 32 inch power gear bypass lopper. Whoa. So this must be the power gear right here. Look at that. Oh my word. I'm gonna get some serious pruning done. Thank you again, Fiskers, for sending these things. A bird bath. Ow, ooh, don't show that. So this is what the actual bird bath part looks like. And there's a couple more pieces in the box and it looks like this is part of the stand. But I think I'm gonna save all the assembly. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna have any more assembly, but I'll save that till the end of the video because I still have quite a number of boxes to get through. Oh my. 
So this is called the Bird Lovers Feeding Station from Backyard Expressions. And there is a little bit of assembly, so I'll save that to the end of the video. And I think the other three in this box might be the same thing. Very cool. Thank you so much, Backyard Expressions. And you guys, the stuff from Backyard Expressions that I'm opening today, they did send us an email. I didn't know what they were sending, but they did say that they were gonna set up a 15% uh, off for you guys. Uh, if you were interested in any of the stuff. So we will put a link down below and you just have to put garden answer in and you get 15% off. So kind of cool. This is from Greenstock. Do you guys remember when I planted up the Greenstock grow tower? It's like a tiered growing contraption that has self watering in it. And I did a bunch of vegetables that did really, really good. Um, this is called the Greenstock mover. So it's basically like a trivet for your Greenstock that has wheels so you can move it around or spin it around, which was something that um, was actually a little bit of an issue for me. Like I couldn't, once you had it set up in its spot, you pretty much had to leave it unless you wanted to unstack every layer. And so apparently they realized that and they came up with this mover, which is really awesome. This will be so helpful. Thank you guys so much, Greenstock, for sending this over. This one's also from Fiskers. This is a fast prep herb shears. That's cool. I haven't seen something like this. I'm going to open this one. Isn't that cool? So it has this little sheath that you can put over so that your blades are protected because they are quite sharp. So you want to keep those kind of under wraps there. That's really cool though. They're really comfortable. Sweet. This one's pretty light. So this one is also from Backyard Expressions. It's a 24 inch wooden barrel planter. And I've noticed a huge resurgence in this kind of planter. I see them all over the place. It seems like all the whiskey barrels and like full barrels and half size barrels are all like way in style right now. So this will be really fun. Ooh, some kind of metal. Oh, this looks like a hose reel. This is a hose reel. It's a heavy duty hose reel wagon with four wheels. So awesome. I need these so bad around my house. After we installed the Ely hose reel on the side of our barn, it's spoiling me because it's so nice to have a place to easily wheel up your hose and um, have a place to keep it where it looks tidy. Uh, so this will be really, really nice. And look at the color. So I'll assemble it here in a minute, but I really like this. It's like a really heavy duty metal, charcoal and black, perfect. So I don't know if I mentioned already, but this one is also from Backyard Expressions. So thank you guys for sending all of this awesome stuff over. Uh, I will try to assemble this one in the end of this video. I have one more box to open though. This is a really long and light box. From Fiskers. Oh my goodness. This is a chain drive extendable pull saw and pruner, which I do not currently have. So this is awesome. I actually have some tree pruning I've been looking at and thinking, oh, I'm gonna have to get a big, big ladder out, but not anymore. So this one extends to 16 feet. So cool. So I think what I'm gonna do is clean everything up because I've got a huge mess going on around me right now. And then I'll assemble everything and come back and show you what it all looks like. All right, I got everything assembled and I wish that I had the time in this video to show you guys all of this stuff in action in the garden. But if you're interested in a more in-depth review on any of these things, let me know in the comment section down below and we'd be happy to put together something with a little bit more detail and show it in action. So let me show you the stuff that I put together. So this is the green stock mover and it was really easy to put together. I just popped the wheels in. It's got a drain right here. Uh, this kind of acts as a saucer so you can have the water drain out and away or it does come with a cap that you can cap it right here instead and leave the water in the saucer. This is the bird bath. It's pretty lightweight, like it's easy to move around. Um, I do like the color of it quite a lot, um, it, but it does come with three stakes. So I didn't even look to be honest with you where you stake it down. I'm sure you could just kind of use any of these little spaces down here to stake it into the ground like that so that you don't lose it like in a windstorm or something like that. But I do like the base. I think that's kind of pretty. I did want to talk about these Fisker Power Gear 2 pruners. So they're kind of interesting. When you open them up and start using them, this handle right here rotates. It feels weird. And to be honest, these are a little bit big for my hands. Probably really good for like bigger hands, maybe like a guy's larger hand. Um, I don't know. It's very interesting. I mean, once I get going, it feels pretty comfortable. 
But you guys know I'm a diehard Felco 2 fan. So it's this is like a really tough like thing that's they're really tough to compete with. So anyway, I'm interested to try these out though. So this is the hose reel and it is pretty good size. It's got a basket up top, which is kind of nice. You can put stuff like a spray nozzle in there or your gloves or fertilizer or whatever you need. Um, and then I did read in the uh, assembly instructions that this thing will hold up to 350 feet of 5 8 inch diameter hose. That is a lot of hose, but big tires. Um, so yeah, kind of just wheel your hose up right here. So your hose attaches to this end here. And then this hose that comes out the back goes to the water source, so your water spigot. So very excited to try this one out in the garden. So I have to show you this one in two pieces because it's way too tall. So this is the bottom piece, obviously. This part sticks in the ground. You can see I've already tried it out. Um, and then you put it, just push it together. There's a couple pieces that make the vertical. And then this one goes on top of this here. And so this is a bird feeding station, you guys. There's a little bracket here. You can hang a little bird feeder. This one's for water, food, like sunflower seeds or whatever else. This is a pretty fine mesh basket. So I'm sure you could get away with a lot of different bird seeds. Then you can hang a couple other bird feeders off the top. And these are uh, adaptable. So you can put them at whatever level you want. If you've got really long bird feeders, you can move these things down a little bit. All right, guys, so obviously that was a really huge haul. I wish I could spend more time talking about all of these things individually. But again, if you are interested in learning a little bit more in depth or seeing some of these things in action out in the garden, leave me a comment down below and tell me which one you wanna see the most and we may put together a video on it. And as always, we will leave links to all of these things down below. Also wanted to say a huge thank you to Backyard Expressions, Fiskers, Gilmore, Burby's Best, and Greenstock for sending all of this really cool stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye.